give you a single report and you're an even five and nine with me here uh, on the southwest coast of Norway and I just pressed enter which means you will be in my qrz.com log in a couple of minutes. 73s and thank you for the QSO. Goal 3, Kilo Mike Victor Portable LA2 PIA. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now this is the Chameleon Portable Resonant Vertical, the Char PRV. Supported frequency range is from 5.4 MHz up to 37 MHz continuous, covering the 40 meter to the 10 meter handbands. Now, due to its telescopic design, this antenna can also be used on the 6 meter and the 2 meter handband. Intermittent duty cycle SSB phone usage supports up to 500 watts, while other modes max recommended power will be 300 watts. An antenna tuner is not required with this antenna due to the newly designed and released Char MCC, the multi configuration coil. Now, the Char PRV can be ordered in two different kits there's the Char PRV SOTA and the Char PRV POTA. Now, the Char PRV POTA is classed as the heavy kit as it includes a couple of optional extras which allow different ways in which this antenna can be installed. Let's take a closer look at what's included in the box. So first up is 12 feet of RG58 coax with an integrated RFI choke. Now the user manual does state that this antenna should be used with an inline choke, so it's nice to see this on the included feeder cable. We also get four counterpoise wires pre-wound on these plastic winders. Now each wire has a length of 12 feet and 6 inches, and one end has an isolated plastic ring, and the other end of the wire has a banana plug. Now, as this is the POTA kit, I also got two 12 inch extender rods, which can be used to elevate the antenna up to 24 inches from its mounting point. Now, according to the manual, the antenna has better performance when raised, so we'll try this out later. Next is the telescopic whip, which is a lot shorter than I've seen on previous antenna kits. Now this comes in at a length of 58 inches when fully extended and just 17 and a half inches when collapsed. Now a ground spike is also included. Now this is used as a path to earth and also to mount the child PRV antenna system into the ground. Now here we have the brand new MCC, that multi configuration coil from Chameleon. With an SO239 socket at the bottom for connecting your feeder, this coil slides up and down, which effectively alters the tuning of the antenna. Now a small plastic screw helps keep the sliding part in place once you've tuned the antenna to your desired frequency. A really useful part which is included is a tripod mount adapter. And what this does, it allows you to utilize a standard camera tripod as a mounting point for the Char PRV. Now this is great if you want to get the antenna raised quite far off the ground. The Char Puck Hub is a really smart design and this attaches to the base of the coil and with the pre-drilled holes you can connect the included counterpoise wires using the banana plugs which are found on the counterpoise wires. Easily attached and easily removed, so it's perfect for those SOTA or POTA days out. While you'd be mistaken for this to be part of your fishing tackle, this contraption actually allows you to have a tuned counterpoise, perfect for dialing in the Char PRV for precision accuracy and performance. Obviously, you could just have this one counterpoise laying on the ground and fully extended, or you can reel it in if it's elevated and tuned to the frequency you're using. Four tent pegs are also found in the box. Now these can be used to keep those four ground counterpoise wires taut and not flapping around. The heavy kit also includes this antenna bracket. Now for those of you that do not want or cannot mount the antenna on the ground, this is extremely useful. Now you can use this bracket to attach it to something like a balcony railing or even a picnic table while you're out portable. Now it does have an earth lug with a wing nut included so attaching a counterpoise is extremely easy. So let's head outside and set up the antenna. Now first I'll need to attach the puck to the bottom of the coil. Now the puck supports up to six counterpoise wires to be attached using those banana plugs. Then I'll push in the ground spike into the ground, trying to get it as straight as possible. 
Now, luckily, my garden actually is quite soft because, it, well, it's been raining as it always does in the UK. Then screw the coil into the ground spike like this. The parts are machined to quite a high standard, so screwing these parts together is extremely easy. Now I'll attach the telescopic part of the antenna to the top of the coil. This also screws in quite easily. Now always make sure to install that ground spike and coil before attaching that telescopic section, just so that no force is put on that telescopic section as you're trying to force it into the ground. Next is to attach the counterpoise wires to the puck. Now Chameleon have provided the recommended number of counterpoise wires to use depending on which bands you want to operate. Now in the user's manual, there's two charts. Now the first shows how many radials per band when the antenna is mounted on the ground. And then there's another chart showing how many radials per band if the antenna is raised up from the ground. Next, I'll just attach the feeder cable that we got supplied in the box. Now on the other end of the feeder, you can attach your antenna analyzer or use your radio's SWR meter to get a reading of the SWR for that given frequency. Now I'll tune for the center of the 20 meter band as that's the first band that I'll test this antenna with. Adjust the coil for best match by sliding it up and down. However, I would recommend to do this extremely gradually, maybe one click at a time. Now the charts that I showed a moment ago also show an initial measurement that the coil should be set to. Now this will get you in the ballpark and you can fine tune it from there. For my testing though, I will install the extender rods so that the base of the antenna is raised around 30 inches from the ground. Now these just screw together and then get installed between that ground spike and the bottom of the coil. The initial settings chart for a raised antenna shows that for 20 meters, I should have used just one counterpoise. However, I had attached two and it seemed to tune perfectly okay. Now you will notice that the counterpoise wires are not touching the ground and they're anchored at the tip of those tent pegs. From the Nano VNA SWR reading, I was able to tune the antenna for an SWR of around 1.2, around 14.2 megahertz. So right in the middle of the 20 meter band. Now the band edges on 20 meter didn't go above 1.5, so the bandwidth on 20 meters covers the entire band, which in my opinion is quite great because it just means less tuning if you want to hop around frequencies. So let's take a listen on 20 meters and see if we can make a contact. The uh, ability to, to make it more readable, even better than you can with the, just the odd equalizers. And then I haven't touched the equalizers in my software on the radio at all. It, it's just all in neutral. Papa, so Italy, November 3, please hear that. Thank you very much for the park to park USO. Have a nice day. It's a good activity. Bye bye. Ciao. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Uh, good afternoon. You're five and nine. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you're five and seven, five and seven, seven three. Thank you for the five and seven, uh, 73, 44, Italy for radio, tell Papa, so Italy, November 3, you are that? Okay, so 20 meters appears to be working. So now let's try 40 meters on seven megahertz. Now, considering this antenna will be incredibly short for 40 meters, it's going to be interesting to see if we can actually make a contact. Now, as the antenna is elevated, I'll need to attach another two counterpoise wires making four in total. We'll also need to retune the coil. Now for 40 meters, the coil needs to be pulled out near enough as much as you can. And then using the Nano VNA, I'll just fine tune it by moving that coil up and down one or two notches at a time. Now on 40 meters, I was able to get a nice dip around 7.2 megahertz with an SWR of about 1.3. For us in the UK, we only have seven to 7.2. So I should have really set the dip around 7.1, but it will do for where I want to work on the band. So let's take a listen and see if we can make a contact on 40 meters. Give me your, uh, give me your uh, last, uh, last uh, three uh, letters uh, of your call sign. 
it's a, uh, a phased uh, uh, three element Yagi and three element vertical uh, in phase and uh, both antennas looking uh, in a southerly direction uh, across the water here uh, from the uh, south end of the island of Hoi. Yeah, we're very fortunate up here. It's a perfect uh, location for playing radio. Oh, yeah, we had a, we had a good run, including uh, Indonesia. Uh, one, two, three, four, five KAs and an Indonesian. The long path was very good for me. Okay, that was a mic, uh, mic uh, station, mic zero. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yes, Mike. Stand by, please, just to Mike Zero or Mike Zero Delta. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, there was a couple of stations with Mike Zero Delta in a call. Mike Zero uh, Delta Quebec Whiskey, 5 and 9 to Suta Lighthouse, all right? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you're 5757 here uh, down into Buckinghamshire, about 15 miles northwest of London. Uh, name here is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango. QSL? QSL, uh, Matt, fantastic signal, and uh, my name is Carl Charlie Alpha Romeo Lima. Uh, just sat out here operating portable for a couple of hours from uh, the lighthouse here, just north of the city of Sunderland, all right? Yeah, Roger. Well, you're sounding great and you're doing well, so carry on with the pile up and enjoy your radio. Uh, 73's Carl, 20 HPI, I'm 0 DQW. Bye bye. Yeah, thanks, mate. You too. And have a great weekend. I hope to catch you again soon. 73, Kia, 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 Kia. So that's the Char PRV antenna system suitable for all kinds of portable deployment. Now, there are a couple of other items which I showed at the start of this video. And that's the balcony stroke picnic table mount and of course the variable length counterpoise so just remember if you do need those you need to order the heavy kit as mentioned earlier now overall it's a well-built portable antenna that compacts down into relatively small size and it doesn't weigh an awful lot so perfect for chucking in the backpack if you're going to go hiking up that hill now the only real heavy part was that balcony bracket but I guess you may not want to take that with you if you are going to be hiking up a mountain anyhow. Now let me know down in the comments what you think of this antenna or if you already own one, what do you guys think of that multi-configuration coil? Now I know we've seen iterations of this type of coil in the past, but this is kind of unique because it's designed a slightly different way. It also has a really good quality feel to it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care for now.